Hey everyone, in our reading today out of Batterson's book, all of it says this, and I quote, All of us have a unique voice print, not just physically, but spiritually as well. God wants to speak through you differently than through anyone else. Your life is a unique translation of scripture. It doesn't matter what you do. You are called to be a unique prophetic voice to the people God has placed into your life. Well, welcome to day 24 of our 40-day prayer journal, prayer challenge, and I'm Pastor Marv, kind of stumbling over my tongue here today. Hey, Batterson goes on to share that we live in a culture in which everybody wants to be heard, but many people have nothing to say. He says, if you listen to God, people will listen to you. Why? Because you'll have something of great value to share. So how do you hear the voice of God? Well, one of the first things and one of the easiest ways is to read the Word of God. To just open up the Word of God. And as you open up the Word of God, God will open up His mouth and speak to you. Now, here's some secret sauce that we need to be aware of. If my heart's not humble, there's going to be a problem. And if, if I have unconfessed sin in my life, you know, that will shut down the voice of God. You know, it can be quite a shocker to realize that after weeks, months, years, decades of my life, that I could actually have been in sin and didn't even know it. It's a shocker. Have you ever been broken, betrayed, beaten down in your heart? And before you knew it, you had no idea how vulnerable you were. And it's at that point in that vulnerable state that the enemy of our soul, he lies and he deceives us. And before long, we're thinking things, we're believing things. We become incredibly offended we become unforgiving. And before you know it, there's a distance between me and God. See, sin, this unforgiveness, this offense, it literally pulls me away from being close to God to be able to hear that still small voice of God. So sin, whether it was intentional or unintentional, it still creates a relational distance between you and God the Father. That distance makes it harder and harder to hear the voice of God. And therefore, we draw farther and farther away. I encourage you, fight through it all. Draw closer to God. He promises and He'll draw close to you. Deal with that sin that is in your life. Determine to keep, that, that sin is determined to keep you away from Jesus. Know this, God has something he wants you to share to those in your life that you care and love. But if we have things that are keeping us away from hearing God, then we can't hear those things that we're to share with those that God uniquely put into our lives to share the gospel, to share wisdom, to share life with. So if you listen to God, people will listen to you. I pray God's touch be upon you as we go deep and search our hearts for those things that we didn't even know were there that are causing there to be a separation, a distance, and watch God set the captive free. Well, I pray this blesses you and encourages your faith, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.